Hello everyone, this is Dominic with Frontline Animal Removal. I normally do not make videos, I normally don't go out on jobs. But my sister called, and here I am. This is what she has. She has uh, three flues. One has got heating, cooling, the other one's capped, the other one's uncapped. What that's done is it attracted a raccoon. She and her kids saw it yesterday. The raccoon is currently at the base of this. You can't see her, but when I put my head in there and let my eyes get adjusted, I can see her down there with a couple of raccoon, baby raccoons at least. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the chimney trap. And I'll try to show you how to move that set it once I get in there. Uh, the straps are going to strap the chimney trap in there. And we'll try to catch the mother raccoon in the chimney trap. We will we'll then remove the babies by hand. Here I've put the chimney trap up against the chimney so you can kind of see what's going on. If we look down at the bottom to start with, that door right there is a one-way door and over on the left here is just a blocker. So the chimney is wide enough I'm going to have to use the whole thing. I insert it down into the chimney and then pull up on this chain which will block the way and make a good fit. The raccoon won't be able to get past this part because it's going to be blocked with the chimney right there so they can't push against it anymore. And the only way that they'll be, she'll be able to get up is through there. She's going to climb up the chimney trap. This part down here is important because a rod's going to slide out of there and slide right down there and lock this when she gets up here. But she is going to climb up and try to get out. And right in here, there's a little wire. And the wire goes to that rod, which sticks up here as my indicator, and down. This will be down and secure. She's going to struggle against this, eventually moving that wire. That drops. When she moves the wire, it drops that down. The indicator, then I know that she's in there without coming up to check and then it locks that trap down at the bottom right there. So then she'll be in this space just like that. Again, this will be secure up here and she won't be able to get out and then we'll come and remove the whole trap. So now the trap is all set. As you may not be able to see, that chain pulls the blocking part of the trap up against the flue. This right here just holds the chain tight so it can't be pulled down and let her slip past. These four zip ties right here keep the lid attached to the carrier so that when she comes up she won't be able to push out of there. And as we see there is the indicator flag which should go down to indicate that she's in there and lock the bottom so that she can't go out the bottom once she gets in the middle of the trap. And there's the wire that connects to that. And then the last thing I did at Brian's suggestion was to strap the whole thing to the chimney. So with these two straps that you see, the black one and the orange one, uh, the whole thing is secure to the top of that flue. So right now it is late afternoon. She should come out in the middle of the night and get caught in the trap and then tomorrow morning we should get the babies. Well, for two days, the raccoon stayed in the chimney. And this is the third morning. And she's now in the trap. And the kits are not too happy down there. But we're going to get them out too after we pull this trap. Here's the chimney trap with the female mother raccoon in it pulled out of the chimney now as you can see there's the locking mechanism it goes down after she pulled it up top from that previous video and it's locked in there we're gonna get her down and then go get the babies okay this is the fireplace down below and everything's been removed from the fireplace and up here is the damper and it's a folding piece of metal just folds back to let the smoke up 
and straight ahead is the smoke shelf where the babies are, and you can hear them up there. So we're gonna open it up, pull them out by hand, which I probably won't be able to video, and put them in okay, the cage. Here's one. Here's two. And there's number three. I think that's all there is. And that's it. All right. Okay, the raccoons have been removed and we're down here at the base of the chimney. Uh, I removed the damper right here, the movable part, uh, to get the, to the babies who reside on the smoke shelf which I want to show you what it looks like. This was all clean before we started. So this is all raccoon poop and fur that's fallen down. Some little bits of clay tile from the chimney liner that are inevitably. And then as you can see, that layer right there, all the way across, is just a buildup of raccoon urine and feces. It's about, uh, oh, two inches thick and it's got the clay tile on top. So the brick ends, right where the brightest light is there, and then there's dark, and then the tile on top. So that whole layer there is raccoon poo, and that's why it's a good reason not to let your chimneys remain uncapped and raccoons to move in.